This video is quickly going to go through how we graph angles in a corded plane. Uh, I did a longer kind of explanation video, so make sure you check that out if you didn't see that yet. So uh, I'm just going to simply uh, go ahead and get started here. Let's say I have the angle 405 degrees. Okay. So if I were to draw this on a coordinate plane, I always start at the positive x-axis, which is right here. All right. So I know all the way around the circle is 360, correct, if I were to go all the way around here. But this is 405. So to know how far over I need to get, I'm actually going to take out the rotation here. So if I subtract 360, 10, that's going to be 45 degrees over. So I need to go an extra 45 degrees, which means my angle is going to stop right there, correct? Okay. So that's where it stops. It stops here in quadrant 1, so that's good to know. It stops in quadrant 1. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find the reference angle, and the way I do that is by connecting this angle to the x-axis right here. Again, it makes a right angle, and I want to know the angle inside my triangle close to the origin. How many degrees is that? Well, luckily, we just found it right here, right? It's 45 degrees, so 45. Luckily, we know if it's a 45 degree angle, that if I wanted to change 405 into radians, I don't need to do the pi over 180 thing, because, right, that could be a lot of math. Let me show you how easy it is. So 405 degrees in radians, I already know that because the reference angle is 45, it's going to be some number pi over 4, okay? But notice that I had to go all the way around, which all the way around, the equivalent of 360 degrees is 2 pi. Or if I wrote it the fraction over 4, wouldn't that be 8 pi over 4? So 8 pi over 4 would be if it's 360, but I went 45 degrees over that, so I need to go 1 pi over 4 over that, so that's 9 pi over 4. Okay, so that's how we do that there. Let's do another one. Um, let's say I wanted the graph negative, uh, let's make it more difficult. Let's say I wanted the graph negative 4, 95. Negative 4 to 95 degrees. All right, so again, I draw my coordinate plane because it's negative. Well, actually, I always start here at the positive x-axis. That doesn't change. But because the angle is negative, I actually spin clockwise or the opposite of the quadrants, right? Because normally when we graph the quadrants, we go this way, correct? We go counterclockwise, but for negative angles, we actually go clockwise. So I have to do one full rotation, so I need to take out a rotation to know how much further I need to go. So if I add 360 to that... Uh, that'd be 5, 3, 1, 135. So I need to go 135 degrees more. So if I go here, that's 90. 135 would be about here, right? Because negative 180 would be halfway around. Okay, so that would be where it terminates. It terminates here in eight, quadrant 3. I'm going to connect my triangle here. Now I need to know the angle close to the origin. What is that angle measure? Okay, well... Think about it, if a quadrant is all 90 degrees, right, like this is a right angle, so that's all 90 degrees, notice how I had to go, so 135 degrees to get to where I am, if I went a little further, wouldn't that be another 45 degrees, right? So my reference angle here is 45 degrees. If I know it's 45 degrees, so when I convert this to radians, so negative 495 means I know it's going to be some number of pi over 4. Okay, all the way around obviously is 2 pi, or again, if I need to change it to a fraction over 4, it would be 8 pi over 4. Okay, and notice how if I come all the way here, all the way over here, normally this is just pi, which one rotation would be 4 pi over 4, if I went halfway, but I need to add 2 pi to that, so that would be 12 pi over 4 to get all the way over here after two rotations, but I didn't go that far, so I stopped short, so that's why it's 11 pi over 4. Okay, let's do one more example. Let's say I have this angle here. Actually, let's do it in radians. How fun would this be? Uh, no, 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 I, we, won't, we won't jump into that yet. Uh, let's say I did 390, so 390 degrees. Okay, so if I graph my coordinate plane here, I always start on the positive x-axis, so I spin around once, and that is 360, so I can take out a rotation, so minus 360, which leaves me 30 degrees left, right? So it would be about there, okay? Let's go ahead and connect my triangle, which is right here, made a right angle. 
I want to know the angle close to the origin, which didn't I go 30 degrees over, so that means that would be a 30 degree. If my reference angle is 30 degrees, if I were to convert this 390, I know it's going to be pi over 6. I know that if my reference angle is 30, it's going to be some number pi over 6. Remember, it's 2 pi to go all the way around, which is 8 pi over 4. But I went 130 degree angle over, so that means I went 9 pi. Um, whoops, I misspoke. So 2 pi as a denominator 6 would be 12 pi over 6. There we go. If I went one more 30 degree over, that would be 13 pi over 6. Because it just went one 30 degree angle over. All right. So that is how you graph angles in a coordinate plane. And then quickly, just being able to logically find the reference angle, therefore finding what the uh, radian measure would be.